All right, so in this problem, I have five to the power of x plus five to the power of x plus five to the power of x plus five to the power of x is equal to 1,000. So to solve this, I'm gonna first start by factoring out five to the power of x. So now I have five to the power of x times one plus one plus one plus one is equal to 1,000. Now one plus one plus one plus one is four. So I have five to the power of x times four is equal to 1,000. now if I divide both sides by 4, these two cancel out, and I get 5 to the power of x is equal to 250. So now I'm going to take the log on both sides. So now I have log 5 to the power of x is equal to log 250. And if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front. So now I have b times log a. So log 5 to the power of x, I can move x to the front. So now I have x times log 5 is equal to log of 250. Now if I divide both sides by log 5, these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to log of 250 over log of 5. Now, log of 250, I can rewrite that as log of 25 times 10. And if I have something in the form log a times b, this is going to equal log a plus log b. So log 25 times 10, that's going to equal log 25 plus log 10 over log 5. And this is equal to log 25 over log 5 plus log 10 over log 5. And log 25, that's log of 5 squared, so I have log of 5 squared, and remember I can move this exponent to the front, so this is, gonna, this is the same thing as 2 log 5 over log 5 plus log 10, which is equal to 1 over log 5, so then these two cancel out, and now I get x is equal to 2 plus 1 over log 5. All right, so in this problem, I have 3 to the power of x squared over 9 to the power of x is equal to 27. So I'm first going to start by rewriting 9 as 3 squared and 27 as 3 cubed. So now I have 3 to the power of x squared over 3 squared to the power of x is equal to 3 to the power of 3. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m, to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 3 to the power of 2 to the power of x, that's going to be equal to 3 to the power of 2 times x, which is 3 to the power of 2x. This is equal to 3 to the power of 3. And now I can rewrite this as 3 to the power of x squared times 3 to the power of negative 2x is equal to 3 to the power of 3. And a to the power of m times a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m plus n. So this is going to equal 3 to the power of x squared minus 2x is equal to 3 to the power of 3. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m equals a to the power of n, this means that m is equal to n. So in this case, x squared minus 2x is equal to 3. So now to solve this, I'm going to subtract 3 on both sides. So then these two cancel out. So now I have x squared minus 2x minus 3 is equal to 0. And now to solve this, I'm going to use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is 1, 
B is negative 2, and C is negative 3. So I have X is equal to negative of negative 2 plus or minus the square root of negative 2 squared minus 4 times A, which is 1, times C, which is negative 3. And I have this over 2a, so 2 times 1. So now this is equal to 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 plus 12 over 2, which is equal to 2 plus or minus the square root of 16 over 2, which is equal to 2 plus or minus 4 over 2. So now I have 2 plus 4 over 2 and 2 minus 4 over 2. So I'll get x is equal to 3 or negative 1. All right, so in this problem, I have six to the power of x is equal to 60. So I'm gonna first start by taking the log on both sides. So I have log six to the power of x is equal to log 60. Now, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front. So this is gonna equal b times log a. So in this case, I have log 6 to the power of x, and I can move x to the front. So now I have x times log 6 is equal to log 60. Now I'm going to divide both sides by log 6. So then these two cancel out, and now I get x is equal to log 60 over log 6. Now log 60, I can rewrite as log of 6 times 10. So I have this over log 6. And if I have something in the form log of a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. So log 6 times 10 this is going to equal log 6 plus log 10. And I have this over log 6. So now, this is the same thing as log 6 over log 6 plus log 10 over log 6. And log 6 and log 6, these two cancel out. So now I have x is equal to 1 plus log 10, that's the same thing as 1. So 1 plus 1 over log 6. And now log 6, I'm going to rewrite this as log of 2 times 3 so this is going to equal 1 plus 1 over log 2 plus log 3 so now log 2 that's equal to 0 0.301 plus log 3 that's equal to 0 0.4771 so if I add these two together I get x is equal to 1 plus 1 over 0 0.7781. And now 1 divided by 0 0.7781, that's equal to 1.2852. So now 1 plus 1.2852 is 2.2852.